We've seen Peranakan, Indian, Malay and Chinese cuisine here at Clark Key Food Street. But what about the international delights? Well, the Food Fest has much to offer. From Middle Eastern to Spanish cuisine, there's something for everyone. And at Kad's Kebabs, the succulent roast chicken meat has certainly gone down well with diners. Tell us, what, what exactly are you guys selling uh, at this, your store? Uh, kebab, yeah. Chicken kebab. We only, uh, we only selling chicken kebab. Does it take a long time for something like this to cook? A long time, uh, about five minutes. Five minutes, is it? Uh, the chicken. Like once you put it on the grill and yeah. it's there for about five, five minutes? Five minutes, yeah. Oh, that's really quick. Okay, kebabs are not usually uh, seen at like the food festival. So this time around, why do you think like you decided to set up a stall here? No, uh, usually we only setting for only the bazaar or like a Singapore festival. Uh, we have no... No shop at all. You have no shop at all? Yeah. Okay, so you only do this specifically for Singapore Food Festival? Yeah, yeah. How's the response? It's uh, not bad, it's very good. Uh-huh. Uh, I think a bit tiring. Uh. <laughs> a bit tiring. The whole day, yeah. About, now, today is three days, uh, a bit tiring. When you have a like a chicken donut, what goes into the chicken donut? Inside the chicken donut. Yeah. So, what's chicken donut? Yeah. Just chicken donut. What chicken else? Um, just a secret recipe. Secret. There's a secret sauce. Yeah, we have a secret sauce. That I cannot expose. Besides kebabs, this dish here is also a hit at the food fest. Okay, so now I'm with Chef Man from Tapa Streets who's going to explain to us what this dish is. It's called marisco, right? Okay, so what's in this dish? Uh, seafood and the rice and some vegetables. Is it hard to cook? Yeah, it's very hard to cook. It's 45 minutes to cook for this rice, yeah. How do you prepare a dish like this? We... we, we cook in a big pan so we let it cook inside the pan ah. okay. yeah it's very difficult for us okay. so what ingredients are there bell pepper garlic onion then spanish rice saffron and a prawn stock is this a very famous spanish dish it's a uh, very famous for, for spanish people to eat okay. but if you're looking for something different and completely new in singapore then you might want to try out the r burger They've opened up a stall during the food fest as a test bit of sorts before they open at New Mall Iron Orchard. So what's unique about the burgers? So what exactly is our burger? Okay, our burger is actually uh, not a Singaporean concept. It's more a Japanese burger concept. Uh, the R stands for revolutionary. Yeah, so it's uh, to change the way that people think uh, and eat burgers. Okay, so the selling point of this burger is actually uh, very much very simple. Okay, healthy. Okay, uh, because a few things. Uh, instead of big buns, we use steam buns, uh, which has less calories actually. Uh, also, inside the buns itself, we actually do have uh, collagen. Collagen. Yes, we actually do have collagen. Okay, collagen is the substance that actually holds our skin cells together. So we are talking about uh, less wrinkles. Yes, uh, eat our burger. <laughs> okay, so I see you have three burgers on offer here. Yes. What's the best selling one? Uh, the best selling one is, of course, our. Uh, there's actually two. La. It's, a, it's a tough fight between two. Uh, uh, one is the chicken ume, uh, which is the chicken plum uh, uh, sauce. Uh, the other one is actually our Peranakan burger that's specially configured for this event only. Uh, but we're looking to put it on our menu because uh, uh, of the response from it. Yeah, uh, it's actually a. We'll call it a curry burger. Yeah, that's very much a Singaporean curry burger. And if you've liked what you've seen so far, come down and check out the food fest for yourself. The Clark Key Food Street will stay open till the 26th of July.